Mike, you get first crack at it here. What's it about George Kittle that makes him so special as a player? It's his tempo setting. It's his physicality. Mm. Like, you just did a great job about all the statistics. But, guys, it's so much more about that. He brings toughness at the point of attack. Key, he actually reminds me a lot about you and what you did for the Jets in the late 90s. Your toughness, your ability to – obviously, you were great in the passing game, but you were also great in the run game. And I see a lot of George Kittle, even though you guys play different positions. Here we see him capturing the edge. And what's so great about this guy is – you could stay in the same personnel groupings, and the opposition doesn't know if it's going to be a run or a pass. And that's so rare uh, nowadays where everything is so specialized. So he is a true throwback. He's a three-down player, and he's essential for that 49er offense. And Mike is right. Mike is, is, is dialed in as a personnel evaluator. He knows that type of talent. Look, here's what I would say about him. He's certainly an inline blocker. He, has, he can run the routes that's necessary to run. He has very good hands, soft hands, so to speak. He can take advantage of the smaller defensive back, the smaller linebacker, but he also can bull rush the bigger defensive end. So when you look at him at his ability to understand the passing game, especially in zone, now he's not a big run after catch guy, although right here you see him be able to turn the corner and score a long touchdown against Seattle. I like him for that reason. I don't necessarily know if he's the number one guy. I understand what the way personnel people think and evaluators think. He's not as smooth, okay? He has a lot of herky-jerky in him, and sometimes that can get you in a little bit of trouble. Are we going to get to the debate part where we talk about the fact that Travis Kelsey's not number one? Because, mm. Field, I want to talk about that, okay? We got Keyshawn here. What's the most valuable position on offense other than the quarterback? The receiver. What does Travis Kelsey do better than anybody else at the tight end position? He receives. And that's what makes him such a valuable asset. He's obviously a really good blocker, and maybe George Kittle is a better blocker. But Travis Kelsey is a better receiver. I'm not trying to knock George Kittle. I love him to death. I think he's a wonderful human being and obviously an elite tight end. I was asking <laughs> a uh, Super Bowl uh, winning coach, uh, an active coach. I won't say his name. I don't think you care, but let's just don't worry about that. Uh, and this is what he was saying. They're both absolute stubs. Love them both, but gun to my head, I'm taking Kelsey for overall consistency as a playmaker in the pass game, and route versatility is second to none. You heard it right there. He's an offensive weapon. That's the reason why Kelsey's better, even though, I'm sorry, I know Kittle is amazing too. Well, look at though. Jeff is just hijacking the second half of our A block here. We'll talk about <laughs> Travis Kelsey sorry, and I Justin we Lennon. No, no, that. we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you worry. I will say this for George Kittle, though. One thing that should probably deserve some more shine for him is the unselfishness because unselfishness I should say because he plays a position where he could put up much bigger numbers than he actually does but he is willing to be that blocker that movable chess piece on offense along with Kyle Juszczyk that has helped San Francisco win a ton of games but he has had some receiving production as we saw last year when he went back to back weeks with at least 150 yards and a touchdown. So I was going to mention it, and then Jeff mentioned it, that over the past half <laughs> decade plus, nobody is putting up numbers like Travis Kelsey. I mean, the guy has been setting record after record after record, and really, as far as everybody is concerned, is regarded as the best tight end in the passing game in the NFL. So this has become a familiar look on this list over the past three years. Again, it's evaluators, it's coaches, it's executives around the NFL. Kittle, number one overall for three straight years. Kelsey, number two overall for three straight years. And here's what a veteran AFC scout said about Kelsey. Quote, when it comes to route running, putting him out there all game and asking him to isolate and win, there's still nobody better at the position. All right, so, Key, before we ask Jeff Darlington for more, in your opinion, what makes Travis Kelsey so dangerous in the passing game? Well, you saw it right there, the route running, to be able to take advantage of the smaller safety that comes down inside the box in the passing game, be able to take advantage of the linebacker, nickel and dime defenses, understanding how to run routes like a receiver. You can detach him from the formation. He can run sluggo. He can run deep in cuts. He can run a curl. It's so many different things you can do with him. And here's what I would say. If you're a real evaluator, you can evaluate him in, a many, in many different ways. He's a lot like Tony Gonzalez that got a knock in saying Tony Gonzalez would not block. Tony Gonzalez would block. Antonio Gates would block. If you ask them to block, Jason Witten would block. If you ask them to block, but Andy Reid's not doing that on a consistent basis. So he dominates in the passing mm -hmm. game. I'll take that tight end any day, all day as my number one guy. I can find an extra tackle if I need one in a tight end that's only going to block.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.